time for another nail surgery video. This one is a partial nail avulsion done with resection of the hypergranulation tissue, HGT, done sharply, which is my preference. Sorry the video is a little out of kink, it's, um, I zoomed in on it, so apologies for the slightly poor quality. Right, so we need to not move that toe at all now, okay, because you're nicely in shot. So, first thing we're going to do, sir, is just check that you are nice and numb. Okay, so, so the question is, sharp or blunt? So, anything sharp around there at all? Cool, okay. So this young guy, hopefully the light's okay. You can see you've got an ingrown toenail, quite a lot of hypergranulation tissue. So stage three out of three, if you like to classify these. Max, how long have you had this one? How long has it been there? Since February. So relatively new. So Max says it's been there since February. Now he's lying to me like a cheap suit. That's been there a bit longer, but he's probably only noticed it since February. So we just put a tourniquet on so there is no bleeding. Sorry, my fat hands are in the way just for a sec. Okay, we'll come back into shot in a set, viewers, I promise. Quite the most difficult part of the procedure is the tourniquet. But of course, if we don't do it, Max, there's a little bit of a bleed. And it's important we don't get that, because when we put the acid on, it dilutes the acid. And then it doesn't work as well, which is not a good look. Let's get this out of the way. Now, check that it was still nicely in shot. It's going to come across. Oh, there you go. Spielberg, eat your heart out. Right, so you stay nice and still. We're doing great. Okay. So, first is to just take out that side of the nail. Okay, I tend to do a couple of cuts. Some people use, Max, I'm talking to YouTube now. Sorry about this, brother, I'm not ignoring you. Some people use a nail splitter and go underneath. I just like to use a second pass with the Sorry, my hands in the way, viewers. And then grab it proximally, and then we rotate in. And then there's the section of nail. Now, let's have a look and see how that is. Now that looks fairly irregular down the side, so. Um, Max, you're not really doing a bad job with the nail. It's just it's kind of got away from you a little bit, okay? Yeah. Now, this is what I particularly like to do with these. Now, my buddy, the toe bro, he tends to phenolise and then cut. And I tend to cut and then phenolise. Now, I can't really tell you one's better than the other, but it makes more sense to me to use a bit of phenol on the exposed nail bed hypergran I think maybe you get a little bit of um, action on the kind of this exposed tissue here so that's nice and clean there's just a little bit left in there so so I say I can't tell you one's better than the other Jonathan likes to phenolize and cut I like to cut and phenolize the last thing that we do is just check that we've got all the nail out from the side so there's nothing in there clean as a whistle but it's very fibrotic there really hard so you said only about where are we now october match february so it's very in here it's very fibrotic and scarred from being like this for a little while so Ah, uh, okay, so it's actually a second second course. So here's our phenol. We use easy swabs in the UK at the moment. We don't like it, but we have to, that's the rules. And then we'll do about three minutes of this. So you can see the tissues blanching and changing colour, and that's the, ac the action of the phenol on the tissues. Phenol, of course, C6H5OH for you chemist fans, phenol is the most 
simplest. So I'm in Catherine today, so I'm having to speak Catherine. It's the most simple of the phenols with one hydroxyl group combined to benzene ring. Other phenols are available. And you can see it's sort of blanching the tissue. So this is really in here, really scarred and gnarly. Let's get this tonic out of the way, guys. And you know, I've, you could argue even for taking more off than that. Obviously, they bleed a little bit afterwards, but we'll go for the pentated BFO dressing that uh, I like to use. Um, and then I tend to do a second pass and really let that soak in. So this is the root here, but really to try and give this hypergram stroke fibrotic tissue a little bit of a splurge. So I'm going to let that just soak in there just for a sec while I go for a coffee and a fag. You're right there for 10 minutes, Max? Yeah, yeah I haven't had a break for 10 minutes. Right, so let's get the dressing prepped. Questions, sir? Anything we've not been through? So, painkillers can be a little bit sore today, so take some painkillers as soon as you can. We're going to get you back two days for change of dressing with the nurses, and then another two weeks for another quick change of dressing. Takes about four weeks to heal, sometimes a little longer. That coloration and swelling that you've had from that kind of chronic contamination really takes a few months to really settle down, but should do well long term. All right. And then we'll check for any bleeding and leakage when we take the dresser off. Now, I don't do an awful lot of irrigation on these. The P and A, as in phenol and alcohol technique, which the guys developed in the US. Well, if you read some of my other work, it's kind of quoted from 1945 by Boll. But in fact, actually, the first guy to write this was in 1901. It was in a, um, an English um, army doctor, 1901. But 1945 gets all the credit. Was I getting my dates mixed up then? I'll do that again. 1945, Boll gets all the credit. But 1901 was really when it was first written up. But the American, it was Nyman, N-Y-M-A-N in 67, who really popularised the technique. So we're still, I think, a little bit not sure how much phenol and for how long people say different things. But my view is um, give it a good wallet with the phenol. And then in terms of irrigation, I don't do much alcohol irrigation like I was taught to do because really I think it soaks into the tissues and then it'll still be there weeks later. So we are going to, I'm just going to come back a little bit with this. Okay, so let's see how much claret we get. And this is where we put the dressing on real quick. So, all right, one times BFO dressing and then that'll be it right there and we'll stop the video there um, so two days and two weeks for this young man Max thank you for the video and if you've been following some of my nail surgery videos you know I've got quite a thing for nail surgery and hypergram resection so if you want to see more if you go to my research gate page I've got a number of projects there nail surgery is one of them and then the latest publication that we had out a couple of weeks ago really um, was written by Andrea Anton she was a lead author myself and Andy Bridgen this is from Andrea's MSc project and what she did was a review of soft tissue management of ingrown toenails now this is with without actually cutting the nail or the matrix literally just cutting the the skin away and she found 25 different authors who'd written on this and did a scope and review and graded it along the lines of effectively mild, moderate and more aggressive resection from the Bose, B-O-S-E, up to the Vandenbos with plastic surgery and suturing and all stations in between. So if you've got an interest in seeing about other management methods, follow that article through. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.